prayer for today is for the rule of God in the world. Creator of all things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or princes, principalities or authorities, ruler through powers and governors and authorities obtained and instituted to check evil, conduct conduct and to encourage good, king over those who are kings, lord over those who are lords, governor over those who are governors, chief of those who are chiefs of state. Cause men everywhere to respect law and justice, and to create and enforce legislation that men may rule with fairness. Give wisdom and restraint to those who bear arms in the community, or are entrusted with authority for the sake of peace and order. Where men are unjust, inhuman, inhumane, and cruel, and send correction. Where men are at war, send peace. Where men profit at the expense of human welfare, send relief. Give to all peoples a sense of the necessity to live in the freedom of your gospel. Silence the ignorance of foolish men, that all may hear your voice through Christ our Lord. And God's people said, Amen. Our reading today comes from the solid declaration of the Formula Concord, the eighth article. Now he has ascended to heaven, not merely as any other saint, but as the apostle above all heavens. He also truly fills all things being present everywhere, not only as God, but also as man. He rules from sea to sea and to ends, the ends of the earth as the prophets predict and the apostles testify. He did this everywhere with them and con confirmed their word with signs. This did not happen in an earthly way. As Dr. Luther explains, this happened according to the way things are done at God's right hand. God's right hand is not, not set place in heaven or the sacramentarians, as the sacramentarians assert, without any ground in the Holy Scriptures. It is nothing other than God's almighty power, which fills heaven and earth. Christ is installed, installed according to his humanity, in deed and truth without confusing or equalizing the two natures in their essence and essential priority properties. By this communicated divine power, according to the words of his tree, testament, we can be and, and is truly present with his body and blood in the Holy Supper. He has pointed this out for us by his word. This is possible for no other man because no man is united with the divine nature the way Jesus, the son of Mary, is. No man is installed in such divine almighty majesty and power through and in the personal union of the two natures in Christ. For in him, the divine and the human nature are personally united with each other. So in Christ, the whole fullness of the deity dwells bodily. In this personal union, the two natures have such a grand, intimate, indescribable communion that even the angels are astonished by it, as St. Peter testifies. They have their delight and joy in looking into it. From 1 Peter 1.12. Thus, the reading from the Solid Declaration, from the, book, uh, the Formula of Concord, uh, we close in prayer. Lord Jesus, your kingdom continues to be in our midst as you come to us now through holy water, holy words, holy food. Help us to see that your kingdom is a kingdom of suffering, but that through suffering we will be prepared to enter into glory when you return on the final day. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And God's people said, Amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.